Silence the mouth of those that are against him. And the Lord does it again. He's great. He's worthy to be praised. Man, truly we need to hear the voice of the Lord today. Hallelujah. Break the chains of the enemy, Lord. Break the chains of Darkness. Bless your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Truly the Lord is worthy to be praised. Amen. His name is forever blessed. This is Brother Williams, and thank you all for taking the time to view another video. You know, ladies and gentlemen, the hatred for Donald Trump. It is so great. It is so thick. Uh, it, it is amazing to me. And even among those that are of the body of Christ, or that say that they are of the body of Christ, but you know, the Word of God tells us that in the times in which we are living in, in the last days, listen to what he says in Second Thessalonians, the third chapter. And verse 3, he said, men will be, he said, without natural affection. Without natural affection. We can, can go either way. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. Amen. We see that today. And despisers of those that are good. And we see all of this. And some of these things are um, being levied against President Trump. Fierce. They're angry. Uh, they're truth breakers. Uh, they will sell you out if it means a lighter sentence for them. But God is on the throne. How can you say he's good, a minister? Well, when you look at his policies, you look at the things that he is doing for America to bring America, try to bring America back to godliness, back to uh, her place where she should be. He's trying to do what is good compared to the ones on the left who are doing everything that they can to dismantle America. Uh, attacking parents who are trying to protect their children. So you tell me, how can you, as a born-again believer, continue to fall for the lies of this uh, Democratic Party? They are liars, ladies and gentlemen. They are natural-born liars. Answer the question, how is it that Kamala Harris could be vice president for, for four years, never s seen much of, never talked about hardly, didn't do anything. And now all of a sudden, she's the, the hope, the last hope of the Democratic Party. She didn't do anything. What did she do? What policies or things did she back up that was a help to America? Not anything. But now, all of a sudden, she's the last hope of the Democratic Party. Something is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. And it is not what you think it is. Man, men are liars. Men would say anything to get what they desire. And we have seen it today. 
no matter what President Trump says, the media will try to make something negative out of it. They will try to find something and say that his statement was racist. You know, no matter what he says. But when President Biden can say, with, with done, done talking about the debate, it's time to put a target or to put President Trump in the bullseye. Nothing is done about it. When Chucky Schumer can threaten the Supreme Court justices, Kavanaugh, and I think Gershowitz, when he can threaten them because they overturned Roe versus Wade and nothing is said about it. When, um, who's the lady that I'm thinking of? Uh, the black senator woman, when she can tell people to, if you're seeing the Republicans eating in a restaurant, minding their own business, get up in their faces and push back and demand that they do what, what is right. When nothing is done about these type of things, of violence, when they commit it, but when a Republican says something that is true, they dig and dig to try to find fault with what he, uh, what it is said. And this is not anything new today, ladies and gentlemen. They did the same thing with Jesus. They, 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 they wanted him to talk so they can find something wrong with what he said and accuse him of something. So see, that's the way the devil works. When men are good, and trying to do good, or if they are standing in the way of evil, then we have evil men that will come against them with vengeance. And we know Satan is behind it all. So you can continue to bury your head in the sand and refuse to see the truth if you want to. But that's on you, and you'll have to give an account to God for not believing his word. Amen. It's all the hand of God on July the 13th, whether you want to believe it or not. You've seen how God has delivered this man out of many troubles, but yet you refuse to believe. Lord, have mercy on you. I wanted to show you. They're trying to make a big thing out of it now. Trying to say President Trump is a racist. He's calling into question uh, Vice President Kamala Harris's uh, ethnicity. Trying to say that uh, he said that she's not black. He did not say anything about that at all. He did not question. Uh, he only told the truth from the facts. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, a little bit later in the video. Now you notice the greeting, the hatred in the room. She didn't want to really shake his hand. It was false. It was pretense. Look at her face. Look at her face. I'm so sorry. Just got Thank you. Look at her face. It was all in that. Mr. President, we so appreciate you giving us an hour of your time. I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used squad. words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your... So they accuse them of all of these things, but they're twisted. He, 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 who he came against was the squad members, American citizens, but yet they're loyal to their own country. 
They hate Israel, but they're loyal to their own uh, country. And he frankly told them, I mean, if, if you don't agree with the things here in America, go back to your own country. I mean, that's common sense. If you don't like what's happening here, go back to where you come from. And all of these things, they're accusing him. But see, they don't bring up President Biden. You said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. They don't bring that up. That's not racist. They don't make mention of President Biden buying fried chicken for a black family and going to their house eating fried chicken. Nothing racist about that. That's okay. You know, they don't say things about President Biden who said he don't want his children growing up in the jungle, meaning going to school with black people. No, nothing gets said about that. Uh, nothing is said about um, uh, President Biden eulogizing a Klan's member and calling him a mentor and a friend and all of these things. Nothing is said about that. But they can pick up on these things that were said or what they heard, and they tried to make uh, a mountain out of a mohill. Mar-a-Lago Resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> you don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. <laughs> and it will. I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Uh, including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. I've done so much and... Nobody talks about that, but that's, that doesn't matter. He's a racist, it doesn't matter. You know, and I say this, uh, Historically, black colleges and universities were out of money. They were stone cold broke. And I saved them and I gave them long term financing and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it with Zoom. Well, uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. And then you were half an hour late, just so we understand. I have too much respect for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. I, would love I think you it's a very nasty question. Wow. I, I have answered the question. Trust you with another I have years. been the best president for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. Better That's than my yeah, see, so, you know, she don't want to him get on her, her behind about not having her act together. She don't want them talking about that. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about how racist you are. But I think he handled it very well. And uh, double standard. They said you couldn't do a, a, a interview through Zoom, but yet they're going to let Kamala Harris do it through Zoom. You know, so like I said, ladies and gentlemen, a clear double standard. Better than President Johnson who signed the Voting Rights Act. For you to start off a question and answer period, especially when you're 35 minutes late because you couldn't get your equipment to work. In such a hostile manner, I think it's a, a disgrace. Let, really me, let me just ask a follow-up, sir, and then we'll move on to other questions here. Uh, some yeah, it's very, very sad, ladies and gentlemen, to see the mindset that some people still have. Let me say some black people still have. We talk about slavery. You know, as they say, you can get the man out of the ghetto, but you can't get the ghetto out of the man. 
same principle applies here. You can bring people out of slavery, but you can't bring slavery out of the people. And many of our black people have a slavery mentality, yet and still. We love being in bondage. We love being lied to. We love being used. But like I say, that's all coming to an end. Because if the illegals come in, the black folks are going to be forgotten. And the illegals are going to take their place. So here we see they're trying to get President Trump on anything he can. But he handled this situation very, very nicely, in my opinion. Now let's go on and hear about them trying to talk about Kamala Harris and accusing President Trump of saying she wasn't uh, black. Of your own supporters, that. including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket, as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define Diversity, it? equity, and inclusion. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me, is that, that give, is give me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition DEI. of that? Give me a definition sir, of that. Sir, I'm asking you a question. No, no, a you very have to define question. it. Define the define it for me if you I would. just defined it, sir. Do you Don't believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well I can say no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always. Now, see, this is true, a true fact that many people, if they take time out to think, they could understand. What he is saying is not wrong. He is stating the facts and stating the truth. And I'm going to show you a video after this proving what he has said. When, Pres when uh, Kamala Harris ran for the vice presidency back in 2020, she was running being proud of her Indian heritage. She never said anything about being black. She was running under her Hindu Indian heritage. And that's what she ran on. And that's what he is saying. She was Hindu, she was Indian. All of a sudden, now she's when it's convenient, she turned to being black. You know, so like I said, Liz Jim, these are the games that these people play, and these are the things that they do. They don't care about you as a human, they think that you're stupid, and they think you're ignorant, and so. Many are falling for it, and this is the things that they do. But you know what? I respect either one. College. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't, mm. because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn, and she yeah. went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I think she somebody is should look into that, too, when no. you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question, sir. Do you yeah. believe that? No, see, they, they don't want to. They don't want to speak the truth. Man, they want to cover up, try to make uh, the person look stupid. But I'm going to show you, she ran celebrating her Indian heritage, not her black heritage. I mean, I don't think she talked much about that at all. She was proud of her Hindu heritage, being raised by her mother, being influenced by her mother. So it was always Indian heritage that she ran on. That's the point that he is making. He's not saying she's not black. He's not saying that at all. He's trying to. He's saying, what is she saying? What is she, what is she Indian or is she black? What is she? Okay. If you don't have to think, you can understand that. But if you don't think for yourself, you will fall for the lie that they are propagating. My message is to stop people from invading our country that are taking, frankly, a lot of problems with it. But one of the big problems and a lot of the... Okay, here, 
the statement that the, the President Trump used, black jobs. They tried to make something out of that. You see, the problem is, brothers and sisters, many of us have our racism sensitivity turned up too high. We have our racial sensitivity turned up high. Our Holy Ghost sensitivity turned way down. So we don't see the truth. We don't hear. We don't we use common sense to think. We just take a word, and whatever the news media says, that's what we believe. We go right along with the news media. We don't think for ourselves. We don't think for ourselves, which is a shame and a disgrace for us in the black community and also in the Christian community. Our racism antenna is pinging off the charts, but the Holy Ghost is nowhere to be found. Sad, really sad. My message is to stop people from invading our country that are taking, frankly, a lot of problems with it. But one of the big problems, and a lot of the journalists in this room I know and I have great respect for, a lot of the journalists in this room are black. I will tell you that coming, coming from the border are millions and millions of people that happen to be taking black jobs. Hmm. You had the best. What exactly is a black job, sir? A black. Uh, they want to make an issue out of little, little nonsense, nonsense words. They want to make an issue out of black jobs. We've been saying that for years, but all of a sudden now it's become an issue. Black jobs. Okay, can't use the brain to think and understand that he means anybody or any in his job that people are working. Coming, coming from the border are millions and millions of people that happen to be taking black jobs. You had the best. What exactly is a black job, sir? A black job is anybody that has a job. That's what it is. Anybody you that has a job. And Mr. they're taking, President, they're taking I... the employment away from black people. They're coming in and they're coming in. They're invading. It's an invasion of millions of people, probably 15, 16, 17 million people. I have a feeling it's much more than that. And, and everybody's been seeing what's happened. The first group of people, the black population, is affected most by that. And Kamala is allowing it to happen. She's the border czar. She's the worst border czar in the history of the world. There's never been a border czar like this. She's okay. never even essentially been. She said she was there once, but not the right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the first part. They're trying their best to twist his world. And understand this. No matter when he wins the presidency, he's going to have trouble. He's going to be fought again. Uh, just like he was the first time, this time is going to be a whole lot worse. But I believe God is going to intervene this time. And everybody is going to be basically in the same boat. God is going to wake up the people. Amen. And if you continue to hold on to your prejudice and not hearing what the Spirit of God is saying, uh, I feel sorry for you. Amen. So now I want to go into Kamala Harris and her talking about her uh, Indian history. That's what she ran on. And that's what uh, she has been referred, referring to for quite some time. the first Indian American woman to be nominated as a vice presidential candidate in America. In a recent event, the Democratic vice presidential nominee took a trip down memory lane, recalling her mother's journey from India to America. Now, her mother, Shamala Gopalan, was born in Chennai and immigrated to America to study at UC Berkeley. The Indian origin senator also... Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are other videos out here showing... Kamala Harris celebrating her Indian heritage, never referring to herself as a black woman, but also as an Indian woman. She talked about her trips to India and her mother's attempts to instill a love of good idli 
I stand before you as the first candidate for Vice President of the United States of South Asian descent. Okay. When my mother, Shamala, stepped off the plane in California at 19 years old, she didn't have much in the way of belongings, but she carried with her lessons from back home. Growing up, my mother would take my sister, Maya, and me back to what was then called Madras because she wanted us to understand where she had come from and where we had ancestry. And of course, she always wanted to instill in us. Yeah, see, so she ran off for her Indian heritage, not black. Here's another video. Just take the time out, ladies and gentlemen, to do some research, to study. Don't just take everything you hear as face value. Take the time and do some study for yourself. I mean, you'll be surprised what they, what you will find, and you will see how they are lying to you, ladies and gentlemen, trying to get you to hate somebody that's trying to save America, trying to save you from the grips of the beast. But you can't see it. You don't want to see it. Like I said, Jesus said, you know, as Jesus said, the rest of the men who experienced these plagues will not repent. No matter how hard it got for them, they will not repent. Is that you, brothers and sisters? Will you not repent? of your hatred that you have for this man and allow the Holy Spirit to work in you. Like I said again in my video, the assassination attempt of President Trump, the shoe's name, two Christian name, but the last name, Crooks. Man, it's the church that is trying to kill and assassinate President Trump. The church is playing, putting their hands in the hands of the, the beast government system trying to assassinate President Trump. You can take it however you want to take it. Uh, that's between you and God. But you better hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church and get on God's side. Uh, be in tune to what God is doing in the earth. <laughs> Man, so but this is Brother Wee. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Not, May the Lord impress upon you some truth. May you hear what he is saying. 
from this place. Until next time, this is Brother Week. Be blessed.